This is a Toshiba Satellite C655. At least that's what's on the front of the case. So let's see what's on the back. Hey everybody, uh, somebody just dropped off at Toshiba and there's the part number right there. I'll go ahead and throw it on a uh, uh, this down in the description of the uh, video. So uh, we're going to pull out, or not pull out, we're just going to access uh, the RAM and the hard drive. Um, the hard drive is over on this side. Uh, one screw uh, for each of them, very easy to do. If I had a, a rating of 1 to 10 on uh, uh, 1 being the easiest, this would be a 1. Okay, so uh, you could do this at home if uh, something goes on wrong with the hard drive. You need to have your restore CDs or contact Toshiba to get your restore CDs so you can reload your computer. So um, here we go. Two tabs here, pull them out. All right, this one stays there so you can grab with your right hand and slide this battery out. So anytime you're working inside a, this, a laptop, period, you want to go ahead and pull the battery out. Let's take this around. We're going to get inside where the hard drive is. Okay, there's one screw there. Go ahead and back it out. All right, I have not seen what's inside this panel now, so um, we're, we're going to open it up and investigate together. A little area, put your nail there and pull it up. And there's a hard drive and there's nothing else in there. When uh, when we took the cover off, the screw was right there that pulled it off. There is an additional screw right back here that has to come out. So that's it. And that one actually removes. So you need to get your fingers, mechanical fingers, or somehow reach in there and get it. And so you just escape my fingers and, and you take it out. And there it is. Don't lose it because you need to put it back in. Push that way and it unlocks. And it comes out. All right. Um, there's four screws around here. Sorry about that. I just uh, kicked the camera. Um, four screws all the way around. And uh, remove remove the hard drive. When you put the hard drive back in, your ports, your power and your SATA have to be going through this window. All right. And the label is up. And when and just put it back in. When you put it back in, you have to remember to put the face down because the clip is up. You put it back in, you wiggle a little bit to line it up, and you push that down. This will go down when you put the cover back on. We'll put this screw back on here. I like to put it on the threads, hold it with a finger, and put it in there. That's the way I've always done it since I was uh, in the Navy doing stuff with little screws. <laughs> Less chance of losing them. You're going to put this side in first and then let that drop down. There'll be some clicks and then screw that down. The RAM is over here. So take this one screw out. All right, it does not lose, it does not remove. Put your thumb in there and pop it up. And there is your two RAM chips. I do not see a BIOS battery. So you would have to take this whole cover off to get to the BIOS battery. But there's your RAM chips. Now, I want to reseat the RAM chips. This one, uh, they pull them out. There's only one chip. There's only one chip in there, so 2 gig. So they could use another uh, 2 gig chip in there, or more. So slide, uh, so when you put it back in, there's a keyway right here. All right, and um, there's labels on both sides, so you can't go by the labels, which side goes up, but the keyway is on the left-hand side. There's a piece of tape here hiding. You can fold that tape back, and you, you can see underneath. Right there is where the keyway is. I, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It's a little keyway. You take this, uh, and you hold this. Hold these by the chips. The top of the chips are on the edges. That's where I'm holding, so you don't do any static discharge damaging the chips. So slide this guy in. It is a little tight in there. So you gotta, you gotta take and kind of wiggle it to go all the way in. These clips won't go in there and you know, unless you get it all the way in. So it's really tight. And you know we don't have to stay on the bottom one. So you could move this to the top and the computer will still see it. But I like putting it back in where it came from. So that's all the way in. Um, give you an idea, I don't see any of the pins. They're all inside. Push it down, you'll hear a click. And that's it. Put your tape back down. Put the top in first. 
click, click, right side clicks, and down goes the screw. That's as far as I'm going with this computer. Don't forget to put the battery back on uh, because there's nothing really wrong with this. They just want me to customize it, the software. So that's, um, they want me to do what I do with all computers, and uh, they just had me work on another one of theirs. It's on YouTube. <laughs> so, so it's the last video I did on YouTube. So uh, anyway, that's how you get inside this Toshiba. Uh, subscribe to see more.